Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is the first part of a two part video in which I share with you how I was able to grow my hair over an inch in about six weeks. Just like you saw earlier, that was my hair six weeks ago and this is what my hair looks like now. I mean, it's crazy how much length I've been able to retain in such a short period of time. So I just thought I would share this with you. Now, our hair grows about half an inch every single month. Now, this varies depending on the individual. Some people grow more hair, some people grow less. I felt as though my hair had reached a plateau and it just wasn't, I mean, I wasn't seeing length anymore, but I was seeing more health, which was actually still a good thing, but I just wanted to challenge myself just to see how much length I was able to retain in that short time. Um, so essentially what I did, uh, I will be sharing with you everything. Um, so in today's video, I will share with you the marks that I used um, every single week. And then in the next video, I will be sharing with you basically um, the oil and the moisturizing routine and everything else. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, quick disclaimer before we get into the video is that I'm not saying that your hair would grow the exact same way that mine did because everybody's hair is different, products react to our hair differently and also your results may vary based on your diet, exercise, water intake, stress levels so lots of other factors can contribute to this but I do hope that if you do try the same regimen, same mask that I did that you grow the same amount of hair or possibly more so let's hop into the video guys so to make the mask the first thing we're going to need will be some wholesale herb now wholesale is actually really good because it contains silica which is thought to improve hair growth speed and strength and also reduces dandruff so i used a tablespoon of that and then after i went in with a couple of tablespoons of flax seeds now flax, flax seeds also helps to grow your hair faster and longer by providing nourishment to the follicles it also contains vitamin e which provides nutrition to the scalp and reduces free radical damage which is actually amazing so i combined those two together popped it in the pot and then i went ahead and boiled it for about 15 minutes so after i taken i took it off the fire i'm now going to strain it using a regular sieve now I suggest that you strain it just like i'm doing here while it's still hot just because it's much easier and less stress for you now if you are to allow this to cool down before you strain it's going to be much harder to get the gel out of it so just strain while it's still in its watery state and then once it's cool it's going to become a gel so i let that sit aside so that i can work on my next ingredient which will be my favorite favorite of all times aloe vera now i love to use aloe vera because of its amazing benefits for our hair and scalp um you guys have seen numerous times how i make aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice on this channel so i'm not going to bore you with that but i just wanted to show you basically um how i preserve my aloe vera so essentially i just cut the part that i'm going to need and then i put a what's that called cling film on the part that I've got and I pop it right back in my fridge and it can stay there for over two months and nothing happens to it like it's still in pretty good condition so I went ahead and rinsed that off and then I got the flesh of the aloe vera out um, so yeah and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this and essentially strain it to obtain a gel or like a juice like kind of consistency so this is what I have left behind I'm going to go ahead and combine these two together so basically the aloe vera gel slash juice with the flaxseed gel um, so I'm just going to pour that in there and then I will use a spoon um, just to mix it well until everything is nice and combined if you want also guys you can pop this in your blender or use a hand blender just to mix everything well but it doesn't really matter so much if it's not you know that well combined because in the next step it will be combined anyways so essentially um, that's what I did and then I'm gonna pour a um, portion of this into my blender and then the rest I will keep for um, basically using as a moisturizer 
um, just because it saves me time and I don't have to like come back and do this again so I'll suggest that you do the same so perhaps make more um, so that you can store the rest in your fridge and basically use as you deem necessary so after doing that guys I'm now gonna go in with a ripe avocado now I love 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 avocado because it's so full of nutrients for our hair and scalp and also when eaten you also reap more of the benefits so definitely consider incorporating this into your diet as well so I'm using a whole avocado here and that was just enough for my hair but if you have more hair or longer hair definitely use more so I'm just gonna cut that and just pop it in the same blender in which I had the uh, gels in and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil uh, but feel free to add any other oil of your choice it could be avocado oil um, pasta oil basically any other oil that you've got available so I went ahead and blended that and this is what I ended up with so a really nice smooth textured I don't know mixture something like that along those lines but you can see it's looking really really good um, and our hair we really love this I mean my hair loved it so much um, so yeah this is what we ended up with Okay guys, so in this next part of the video, I will be sharing with you how I'm applying this to my hair. So this was basically day one of the six weeks uh, challenge that I went on. But every other week was exactly the same to be honest. So yeah, but my hair probably looked a little bit different as time went on um, because I was you know, doing something to it every week. So at this point, my hair was actually quite dry. Uh, I don't know if you guys can actually notice. Uh, very dry, very tangled. Um, yeah, very out of shape, pretty much. Now, I'm just showing you guys the back here, just so you can see it's very matted, um, but it was clean though. It's just that I had a twist out. Um, and then I never did anything to it for a long time and I think it just got tangled from my workouts and stuff like that so um, yeah although it was clean but it just wasn't looking nice so I'm just going to share with you basically everything that I did now I wish I did this mask maybe twice a week but to be completely honest I'm so busy right now that I don't have time to be in my hair as much as I used to when I was still on maternity leave um, so I'm free on the weekend and that's usually the only time that I get to actually look after after my hair So I will do this mask once a week um, Perhaps on a Saturday when I'm not working and then rinse it off and essentially go ahead and style my hair as I would normally for the rest of the week and then I'll repeat you know um, for the next week and so on and so forth and I did that for a whole six weeks um, so essentially I'm just going to go ahead and apply this mask to my hair now I work on my hair in sections as you guys know if you've been following me from before uh, you would know that that's usually how I do it and I suggest that you also do it this way because it makes your hair much easier to manage and also you're less likely to cause unnecessary breakage um, so I'm just working the mask through my hair here so starting from my roots and then working my way to my ends now always moisturize your ends guys don't forget them because they are essentially the oldest and the driest part of your hair and the part that's most likely to break especially if you are trying to retain length that's what you're trying to avoid right so always make sure that you maybe apply extra product on your on your ends so essentially after i did that i twisted it and i'm just doing like a little bunty knot just to prevent it from drying as i work on the next section of my hair um so like I said guys, if you can do this mask twice a week, definitely do that. Um, it's going to do your hair more good than harm. Uh, but if you're just as busy as I was, one time a week is sufficient um, to still give you results. So make sure that you apply to your roots so you can also reap the benefits of uh, basically all of this uh, good ingredients or nutrients we have in this mask so i'm just working that through and then i'm going to go ahead and repeat it for the rest of my hair
So in this part guys, I was basically just showing you how tangled my hair was at this point, like literally so tangled, so matted um, and my hair also had the impression that it was like short uh, but I guess because I just had a lot of dangos in it so but this mask was actually really really good at you know providing moisture to my hair so even as I was just applying the mask I could already feel my hair sort of feeling quite nice and soft and those tangles sort of loosening a little bit which was actually pretty good um look at how defined my curls are here like these curls are popping guys literally the best like i really love this mask now the thing about flaxseed gel as well is that it can help thicken your hair i don't know if i said this before but yeah it does it can help you know with it adding more volume um to your hair so here's another part that is really tangled, really matted. I found that the back of my hair, or yeah, the back of my head, um, usually gets more tangled and more matted than the front. And also it has a slightly different texture. Um, so anytime that my hair is in a really bad state, that part suffers the most. Um, so usually I do try to focus a bit more on these areas because you know they're a bit more problematic for me i was just showing you guys here how um, moisturized that was looking and how well distributed i had the mask on my hair and that was actually really good can you see those curls though let's take a second just to appreciate the curls right <laughs> the curls were literally popping um yeah so so good so essentially i just went ahead twisted that and again did a bunch of knot and repeated until um, my hair was completely done now it didn't take that long and this is what it looks like after it has been completely done I've got my edges covered I've got my ends covered basically everything so this is really good so now I'm gonna go ahead and put um, what's it called clean film uh, on it because my hair was just so dry at this point that I decided to deep condition overnight um, so I decided to use clean film just so that it can have as much heat as possible and also for it not to uh, drip over my neck as much but it still did anyways but anyways uh, so uh, you don't have to deep condition overnight if you don't want to guys uh, you can leave this for like an hour or two and then go ahead and rinse it off but yeah like I said I did mine overnight because my hair was in a really bad state at this point so I'm gonna now go and sleep and then essentially wash my hair off in the morning um, so this is what my hair looks like in the morning this is the next day um, I did sleep with like a, a scarf over my head as well um, just because like I said it was dripping so that scarf was actually quite good at collecting all of the fluid um, so I'm just on, on doing the um, twist here just so I can show you basically what the hair looks like and see it's still got its curls in it it's not as drippy as it was um, um, earlier or let's say like the night before uh, it seems just slightly sort of drier but it's still wet anyways so I went ahead and rinsed it off and this is what my hair looks like the curls are still in can you believe that that's crazy the curls are still in really nice and defined all I needed to do was basically just add a bit of oil and still rock this as a twist out but I went ahead and just detangled my hair because it needed detangling um, so yeah this is what the mask looks like after I mean this is what my hair looks like after I did the marks the first day now the one thing that I would say is that I shampooed my hair the third week always shampoo your hair guys um the third week or maybe like every four weeks if you want to extend it so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching subscribe so you can see the second part of the video and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you next time bye